There are a lot of new incentive programs out there that actually pay homeowners money to go ahead and short sale their home. There are many reasons that some banks do this, but no, most notably, it's to get homeowners to participate in a short sale rather than a foreclosure, which could cost the banks to lose more money than they would through a short sale process. Now, some of these incentives offer homeowners anywhere from $1,000 up to $30,000 when they sell their home. They're all different, and they all have their own different guidelines and requirements in order to allow this happen. Many of them are also very complex in regards to their requirements. The most important thing to remember with all of these programs is this. Even if they have their guidelines in place and you meet all of these guidelines, many times it will still be up to the bank, the investor, or many times the government to decide whether they'll allow you to receive this money and if it's, or not, and it's completely voluntary on their part. Now let's talk about some of these programs. The most well-known and implemented program is the government short sale program known as HAFA. There are three different versions of HAFA, all having different requirements, but essentially, they will allow you to receive $3,000 for relocation and moving expenses. Again, even if you meet all of the requirements for this program, it will be up to all of your lenders to agree and allow you to do this. Now, many real estate agents are not completely knowledgeable about these programs, how they work, their requirements, and the paperwork involved, and can actually do you a disservice by not applying you for these programs in your short sale. Not only that, but they can be implemented incorrectly, resulting in you being disqualified from them if the paperwork's done wrong. Now, I'm certified as a half a specialist, meaning I know all of the up-to-date provisions in this program, and when we talk, we can go over your case to determine your eligibility. But nonetheless, we still submit all of our short sales as HAFA to ensure you potentially receive $3,000 if you meet the requirements. From there, each bank is starting to offer their own programs. Bank of America, FHA, VA, Chase, Wachovia, Wells Fargo, as well as many other banks all offer their own incentive program and new ones are coming out all the time. It's important to work with someone who knows about all of these programs and their requirements so you don't leave money on the table when doing a short sale. I will say that I have completed lots of half a short sales as well as all of the other lender incentive programs for our clients, resulting in our clients receiving anywhere from $1,000 to $20,000 at closing. Be sure that whoever you work with knows everything there is to know about the programs your bank offers and whether or not you would apply. If for any reason you are not eligible for these programs, do understand you can still proceed and do a short sale, it just means you won't receive any money in the process but at the same time, the process doesn't cost you anything at all. In my free, no obligation consultation, I go over this with my clients and talk extensively about their options. But because these programs have become so extensive, I simply can't talk about all of them here in this video. So this has been my presentation on getting paid to do a short sale. Give me a call to set up your free, no obligation consultation over the phone or in person and we can go over any specific question that you may have and determine your eligibility for any of these programs. Thank you very much, and I look forward to speaking with you.